Hey, what's going, y'all? It is yours truly once again. All right. So this is basically a pre-finale to the finale. But I hope y'all enjoy this one. Well, won't waste any time. Let's get right to it. I was previously talking about the the enigmatic woman being pretty much like the type that would have her kids be homeschooled and things like that. But see, that just really all tied into the fact that the enigmatic woman is the ideal type of mother, meaning that she makes sure that the kids are brought up in a more natural setting. So she's very traditional and very tribal in that regard, based on a lot of things she's learned She's learned the uh, she's learned a lot of things over the years, whether from relatives or just from cultural uh, practices and observations. Now, to get off that and we could jump on something else, uh, because sometimes I have to do a side by side uh, with the Sigma female. As I've been doing, but, you know, Sigma females adapt to the solitary lifestyle, whereas enigmatic women are solitary from an early age yet they see being solitary as just a transitional phase ironically and this also ties in with her being the ideal mother because the enigmatic woman thinks just like the wolf she's just going through this transitional phase of being solitary until she runs into the wolf of a man basically an enigmatic man that she can start a family with and she's willing to go about it alone until that happens whereas a sigma female prefers to be alone and the only time a sigma female would consider not being alone anymore is upon her becoming a sigma woman and that's based on her getting around a man whether he's a sigma or not And this is just based upon her realizing that she can't do certain things on her own anymore. And so, for the most part, just going forward, I want a lot of people to keep in mind a lot of things within this pre-finale. So, hear me out. See, ladies, 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 visualize the enigmatic woman as classic and ancient, whereas a Sigma female is more modern and contemporary. And who knows, I may have mentioned that before, but for some of the new viewers, just thought I will talk about it again, or at least bring it up to where you kind of know where I'm coming from. If you've never heard me speak about this before. Now, a previous Uh, someone that recently viewed my enigmatic woman series talked about the fact that you can be a sigma and an enigma so I thought I'd talk about that you know so why not so this sigma enigma duality hmm technically from my perspective there isn't a duality with the two just a paradox given how contrary and or contradictory both are to each other. It's just like looking at smoke coming from a liquid. Now, see, you can get smoke coming from a liquid in two different ways. If it's like a clear liquid substance, per se. So you can get smoke coming from liquid nitrogen or smoke coming from boiling water. So look at an enigma in a sigma in that regard. Now, an enigma can be seen living as the sigma. Now, meaning the sigma lifestyle. Not necessarily that she's a sigma female upon conversion or changing into one. No, it's, it's nothing like that. And I'll explain what I mean by this because it's not what people think. It's not... The enigmatic woman one day just decided, hmm, I wanted to go about being solitary. You know, that's more of a feral decision 
for one to just decide they want to be solitary. So you got to remember, the enigmatic woman was pretty much from a very young age already solitary. She had solitary characteristics. Part of a lot of her gifts was her being solitary. She's definitely solitary by nature versus the Sigma female being solitary by nurture. So this idea of the Sigma and the Enigma is more of a parallel existence instead of a perpendicular or intersecting one. It doesn't even come close. You know, it's just a parallel lifestyle. She has to, you know, an enigmatic woman would basically have to appear one way to people and then another way by herself. But it kind of becomes one of these things where she gets tired of trying to juggle two different types of lifestyles. Given that basically the Sigma would be her lifestyle, but the Enigma is her true identity. So that's what I want people to see, you know, with that in mind. Because it's not entirely Sigma for the Enigma. The Sigma knows how to get around, whereas the Enigmatic, the Enigma, knows how to stay away. I'll say that once again. The Sigma knows how to get around, whereas the Enigma knows how to stay away. Or even get away. It's almost like the difference between camouflage and blending in. They're not the same, even though they seem similar. The Sigma female gets around given how much she knows about technology and all of the latest and the greatest. Thus, she uses that to her advantage. No different than what Trinity did in the Matrix. The enigmatic woman remains traditional in order to avoid certain things that she's not familiar with. Plus, here's another thing. In her mind, she just doesn't want to be conformed to the world. She tries not to be worldly in all of her ways, in all of her thinking. She tries her best not to be a worldly type of an individual because of that ancient mindset that she has. A lot of things that have been in her have been the things that she's gathered. Like she doesn't mind looking at information from thousands of years ago. Whereas with the Sigma, she's more or less wanting to be on the cutting edge of everything. You know, she might, the Sigma might check out old information or old traditional things, but if it's not up, up to what she considers the current ideal for her, she, she discards it. So there you go. But yeah, if you put two and two together, the Sigma and the Enigma, what you basically could have is an enigmatic woman that just knows enough to get by as she transitions. Once again, going back to the transitional phase, you know, she's looking forward to running into an enigmatic man one day. But this is a crazy world that we live in. So there's a lot of hoops and loops you got to go through. And the, enigma the enigmatic woman understands that. So there might be little bits and pieces she takes here and there just to get by certain aspects of social media just certain aspects of social media not to its entirety she's not going to learn about the ins and outs of everything like a sigma female would you know so in a nutshell as I said earlier the enigma can temporarily live the sigma lifestyle but she's not necessarily Trying to say that, hey, I'm switching up to be Sigma. No, this is all temporary at best. However, there are some more rare occasions. Maybe I'll talk about that in the finale. Thanks for tuning in. Signing out.